Hello and welcome to the channel. One question I've been getting from viewers is, are there replacement lenses for the Swift Stellar One Pro? Specifically, can I get a 20X lens or a 60X lens? And the answer is yes. So this video is to show you what those lenses are and how they work. Let's take a look. The lenses come from Modic, which is the actual manufacturer of the Swift. So Motic lenses were a good place to start. Now, you never know how well these are going to work. Uh, most notably, will these lenses be parfocal with the other lenses I have that are stock on the Swift Stellar One Pro? And I'm pleased to say that they are. I ordered these lenses from Microscope Central on June 2nd, and they arrived on the 14th or 15th of June. So it took almost two weeks for them to get here. The lenses arrived directly from Modic, and they are packaged very well in cardboard and then in the plastic bag. They are also surrounded with foam. And of course, they then come in these wonderful plastic uh, microscope lens holders. And so we've got two lenses. We've got the 20X lens and we've got the 60X lens. Now, the great advantage of the 60X lens and why so many people are interested in the 60X lens is that it provides greater magnification and greater resolution than the 40X lens, but it does not require oil. Anyone who's worked with oil immersion knows that, though it's not the biggest deal, it certainly is a little fiddly. You've always got to be cleaning the lenses you can't switch back to, say, your 40X, or you endanger that lens from the oil. So there are all risks and inconveniences of using oil. So a 60X lens is something that people are really interested in. And so I'm really pleased to say that we've got one that we can use on the Swift Stellar One Pro. All right, we take a look at these lenses, the 20X lens. This is the Modic EC Plan Achromat. It is a 20X lens and it has a numerical aperture of 0.45. It is an infinity lens, which of course is essential for use with the Stellar One Pro. And it works with slides that have a cover slip of 0.17 millimeters. We can then turn to the 60X lens. This also is an EC Plan Achromat lens from Modic. It has, of course, 60 times magnification. Its numerical aperture is 0 0.80. It is an infinity lens, of course, and is also designed for cover slips that are 0.17 millimeter in height. So now on the screen, you can see the packing slip that comes with the lenses. So you can see the item number, the description. We can also go to the confirmation email that I received from Microscope Central, the outfit from which I bought the lenses, and you can see the prices. You'll also see that these prices are exactly the same as that you would get from Motic itself. All right, so let's now take a look. And the real thing we're gonna focus in on is the parfocality of these lenses. Parfocal means that when we have one of the microscope lenses in focus, every other lens is generally in focus as well. Now you might have to adjust the fine focus a little bit, but you don't have to touch the coarse focus adjustment once you've got your image under focus under the 4X lens. The first thing we're going to do is look through the standard lenses on the Stellar One Pro, the 4X, 10X, and 40X lenses. And the key thing we're looking at is how small of an adjustment do I have to make on the fine focus knob when I go from the 4X to the 10X and the 10X to the 40X? Those fine adjustments that I just have to make are essential to bring it in very crisp focus. And we want to make sure that with our new lenses that we just have to make similar small adjustments. Here I've got one of my favorite slides. It's of an artery. It tends to show the clarity of the lenses very well. So the first thing I'll do is bring the object into focus using the coarse adjustment, and then I can make fine adjustments with the fine focus. Okay, so that's generally in focus. Now I'll switch to the 10X lens. And here we want to see what small movements I need to make. There we go. Maybe an eighth of a turn, um, but not much to get it into focus. Now we'll go from the 10X objective up to the 40X objective. Thank you. 
If you've not replaced lenses in the past, this is a very easy process. It just takes unscrewing the lens and then screwing the proper one on. So I'm just unscrewing the 10X lens. There we are. And now I'm going to replace it with the 20X lens. All right, so the 20X lens is in place. Now let's replace the 100X lens with the 60X lens. And one thing you will probably find when you remove the standard lenses from the Swift Stellar One Pro is that the first thing to unscrew is just this cowling. It's just a cover around the lens itself. If that happens, then all you have to do is reach in and unscrew the actual lens itself. Okay, so now we have our new lenses in place, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did before to see how well these lenses work. So now I will use the course adjustment to get the object in focus using the 4X lens. And that looks about right. Now we'll switch to the 20X lens. And now we just have to make a slight adjustment. There we are. So the size adjustment we need to make with the fine focus is really very similar to what we had to do with the 10X objective. This produces a nice, very clear image. It has a higher resolution because this lens has a 0.45 numerical aperture, whereas the old 10X lens had a 0.25 numerical aperture. Great, now let's go from the 20X to the 40X. And they're just a few degrees of a turn, it was really all that is required. So this, these lenses are working very well. Now we'll go from the 40X to the brand new 60X lens. And here it's almost in fine focus already. Just make a couple, boy. Yeah, it's uh, really pretty difficult to get it in uh, any finer focus. So we really virtually did not have to touch the fine focus knob at all in order to have our image under perfect focus using the 60X lens. So good news for all you people who are interested in getting alternative lenses for the Swift Stellar One Pro. If you're interested in getting a 20X lens, or if you're interested in getting a 60X lens, you can go to Modic and you can acquire these lenses and they're going to work great on your microscope. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. And if you would like the video, that would be greatly appreciated if you did like it. And if you want to subscribe, that would be even greater. Thank you very much for watching.